Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last episode we got the 6th gym badge and I'm not gonna lie we probably should have lost that battle but Luxray, our Luxray right here, loves us so much it took like 3 earthquakes. It lived at 1 HP, took another earthquake, lived at 1 HP, it was just kind of insane. Anyway we then spoke to Professor Rowan at the library and he asked us to go to Lake Valor but a massive explosion happened. Uh, Barry's run over there already so we're gonna head over and um, you know see what's going on because Massive explosion at the lake, it just cannot be good. So, oh wow, I just realized you can't actually um, fly to the, the little resort area here. I really thought you could. So it's probably best to go, I reckon from Veilstone and go south. Because if we go to Pastoria, that means we have to go through the resort area. We have to go across the beach and this way we just have to go south. So I can just jump on the, um, the bike as well. Also, I'm thinking, because we're here, and I should have a lot of money, let's just uh, change your outfit up a little bit, you know, shake up a bit. So, how much money do I have? I love the uh, the music in this shop. Got 150,000. Should we go for the casual style? It does look kind of cool, but I, I do kind of like this, I'm not going to lie. It's very, uh, I don't know, it feels very British-y to me. <laughs> no, we'll go casual style though, this looks so cool. And I'll put this on. I still think the Cyber Style is my favorite. Oh wow, that actually looks really nice in chibi form. Um, I still think the Cyber Style is my favorite, but we'll, we'll give this a go. So let's go down here and we'll pop on the bike as well. Get down a little bit faster. Also, I forgot to say as well, um, I asked a while ago where to get Hippopotas. You can actually get it, get it in this cave right here, however, this guy, he asked for an unknown. Well, you know, a race to get an unknown. It's not just one unknown. You have to get all 26, which is just, um, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of unknowns. So maybe, uh, like, post-game we'll start working on it because he extends the cave a little bit. And you can catch a hippopotas in there. And I think it's like a 20% chance uh, rate to get it, but, yeah, to get one right now, like, I, I thought maybe a Paladon for the team could be really cool, but it's just, it's so long to get. Anyway, we can avoid all these, well, we have to avoid the trainers, we've battled these trainers before, so it's like a nice little uh, path all the way to Valor Lake, which is just down here. And now we go just to the left, and then we're there. Hey, Graveler, how's it going? Just gonna run away. And hopefully this episode as well, we can evolve our Finian. That'd be really nice. Just gonna run. Wait, where's the um, the entrance? I'm gonna pop a rappel real quick as well because I'm kind of in the middle of the grass right now. Because the outfit does look so cool. And this casual wear, but it kind of to me feels like uh, I don't know, we're a painter. Like, you told me we weren't a Pokemon trainer, but our profession w was like a professional artist. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. All right, where's my repels at? Nice. All right, so we want to go, yeah, through here. There we go. So Lake Valor. And the lake's all dried up and not good. Yo, haha, <laughs> next stop, Lake Verity. The closest thing to civilization out there is that hick town, Twinleaf. We can roll in there completely un unopposed. Oh no. Oh, poor little Magikarp, man, look at it. Oh, it's probably gonna die, won't it? Being like that. Oh, do you not want to battle? Oh, you do. Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? I mean, it does look kind of fun, but I don't think so. Alright, what have you got? Now that's easy enough to beat. And de depending on the level, we could probably lead off with Finian. I'm guessing that'd be early 30. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's just go Power Punch. We'll switch out a little bit. And with any luck as well, we should get Togetic this episode. I ran around even more, so um, the happiness should hopefully be up, because we've got the Super Bell on, so obviously it goes a lot faster. And it's a brand new day, so maybe I should go and find the um, the massage person and go and get a little massage for Togepi. Is it once a week or is it once a day? I 
cannot remember. Uh, let's go Flame Wheel. Nice. Togepi's almost level 42. Fingers crossed we get it. <laughs> but I could see probably like 43, 44. Being right, but I'm going to quickly switch and lead off with you. I think we could probably do it. Poor magic card, man. Oh, is that a lot of magic card down there? Oh, wow, look at the magic card. Aw. Even Team Galactic has no use for Magic Carp. Worthless. All of them. Oh, poor Magic Carp. Alright. Uh, yo, you wanna battle next? You do. We set off the Galactic Bomb. His Blast Force was phenomenal. I gotta say, the Galactic Bomb does actually seem kind of, uh, kind of powerful. It's kind of a good thing we put a stop to them at Celestic Town, because if they set off the bomb in Celestic Town, that town is gonna be no more. 100%. Alright, uh, we should be able to live, in, live in an attack, so we'll go for Water Pulse. Screech. Okay, that worries me a little bit. We could potentially get one shot now. That's harshly fallen. And that does nowhere near enough damage. It's fine, once we evolve, we'll be, we'll be putting out the numbers. But for now, it's probably best we switch. Poison Fang, okay, we're good. Eat that up. Alright, Spark. Nice. Goodbye, Golbat. And does Togepi get 42? It does, nice. And Alexis gets 45. And Lumi's so close to 29. So we probably get 29 after this battle. Then once it gets to 30, I've got a rare candy I can use to get it to 31 to evolve it. Our team will be even stronger. Alright, let's go Spark. Nice. And Safeguard. Uh, no, we're good, we're good. We'll keep all moves. New Pokemon attack with uh, phenomenal power. Yeah, we do. Pretty devastating. Yo, how's it going? On behalf of our boss, I'll punish you for defying Team Galactic. Try it. See how it goes. We've got three Pokemon, good, good. Do you have dry skin? That is the question. So I'm pretty sure Water Pulse will just like rehydrate you. Nope, you don't. Okay, good. Alright, Water Pulse. If we can get the confusion, that would be so sweet. Confuse, confuse, confu no confusion. Ouch. Okay, we switch in, we switch in. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Laxus. I just want to use my Finny in a little bit. <laughs> a few more levels and then we'll get there. Alright, let's go for Spark. And Dust Tox, uh, yeah, we'll stay in. Uh, discharge does the trick. Good, good. And beautify again. Another spark. Woo! Let's go! Let's see, I know you could do it. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Luxray. I appreciate it. You can do anything. Like live two earthquakes. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, we're good. Don't need to use a repel. Any items down here we can maybe grab? There's just, there's a, there really is a lot of magic carp, ain't there? 
Yo, what do you want? Are you one of those uh, nitwits we fooled into guarding the entrance? Bah, it doesn't matter who you are, it's too late to make a difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone City. Oh no. But thanks for the info, buddy. Oh, is this a uh, Saturn? The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone. Yeah, everything is for everyone. And for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eternal City. Hmm. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself. Being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Saturn, isn't it? Yeah, Saturn. You know, the one thing I'm actually surprised about is how we beat Barry to Lake Valor, considering how fast he is and how he's always been ahead of us the whole game. And he left, uh, you know, for Lake Valor before us. And we beat him. All right, let's switch into uh, our lovely Drapion. Saturn, you're not going to stand a chance, man. Look at my Drapion. Psychic doesn't affect me. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a nice little Night Slash. Oh, you're going to withdraw Kadabra, okay. And a Toxic Croak. Oh, Night Slash ain't going to do as much. I gotta say, I really like Toxic Croak. I think it's such a cool looking Pokemon. Critical hit. Not really does much. Um. I think I've got, I've got to switch out as well, right? I can't do much to you. I was going to Soul and go for a Flame Wheel. Just like, sometimes the AI in this game is a little bit smarter, which is good. A little bit harder. And then sometimes they're just... they're not. <laughs> Alright, let's go Flame Wheel. Ooh! Uh oh Ouch. Will you heal up? I doubt it. Let's go Mock Punch. Nice. And for the Kadabra, we'll switch back into Drapion. Night Slash would absolutely destroy you. Here right, comes the Kadabra. Let's go back into Drapion. Dabra. Level 35 should be some decent experience, but have a nice slash. Oh, we're gonna withdraw Kadabra again. <laughs> In the, okay, Bronzor is just as good because it's still super effective, so. <laughs> Woo! Now bring that Kadabra right on back. Oh, sucks for you, dude. Sucks for you. Drapion really is Saturn's worst, uh, worst nightmare. <laughs> He really doesn't want his Kadabra to fight me. And you can see why. Just delete it like that. So you were saying about what? Jupiter should be ashamed for losing? Was it, did you say? Ooh, what about you then? What's your excuse? You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Gah, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. That's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the free legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Oh no. There's nothing else in here. So yeah, Barry, Barry definitely did come to here, right? I need to double check. We might have gone to his lake. But I feel like he definitely said he was coming here. I'm guessing we need to head to the other lake now. Yeah, Lake Verity. So let's fly on over. Go back uh, to Twinleaf. Ooh. All right. I haven't been here in such a long time. We are Lake Verity. Hey, Rowan. Ah, Voltsy, what timing. 
Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. I'm on it. Yo. Oh, there's two here. Didn't see um, that one on the left. Like, I saw the, the little bit of the hair on the right. That's all geared. Don't mind the battle at all. We've got six Pokemon. Oh, I've totally got to use the right mechanic, so we can get Lumion now. But with six Pokemon here, we might actually get enough to evolve anyway. Right, uh, I should have healed up. We'll be fine. I'm going to heal up Lumi. And I'm going to go ahead and... Just fling wheel the Glamau. I'm guessing Silcoon will probably just go for Harden, so I can just leave that on the field and not worry about it. I'm going to keep Lumi alive so it gets the experience. Nice. Oh, you got Tackle, okay. I mean, it doesn't do too much, we're good. Another one? Another one, okay, that's, that's fine. And we got a Flame Wheel. Come on, please give me enough experience after this battle. So nice. We can evolve it and then we can start doing some big damage and actually start using you without having to worry about you getting taken out like with every hit. Ooh, that actually does a decent amount. Dunk here, that's gonna get destroyed. And yeah, flame wheel should easily one shot ya. Nice. And aftermath. Ooh! That ability sometimes can do some serious damage. Good, good. How close are we? Oh yeah, we're definitely, definitely going to be evolving after this battle. There's no way we don't. And we'll finish it off. Nice. And there's level 31. Nice. Yay. We're going to evolve. And a Glamau. Last one. Easy peasy. I'm going to quickly go and heal up after this battle because we're a little bit weak. I'm pretty sure I can leave um, the lake. Although I've got potions, I guess, or Moomin Milk I can just use. Should be alright. Losing was a part of my job too. I feel better by saying that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Whatever helps you um, get through the defeat. But our little, little fish is evolving. Yeah, boy, let's go. Dude, it actually looks really nice. Like, I think this is an underrated Pokemon. Such a cool design. So it lives on the deep sea floor, tracks prey by flashing patterns on its four fins. So I think it's kind of cool. Actually, I really haven't using this. Oh, there's Mars and Dawn. I'll knock your Pokemon to orbit. Put a heal up, but it's fine. If this mission is successful, we will get a nice bonus. Hey. Not sure what the bonus is going to be, but I hope it's uh, I hope it's worthwhile. All right, uh, I'm going to water pulse you, and I'm going to I'll just heal up actually first, just in case. Like I know I know I can one shot everything with uh, Infernape, but it's just in case, you know. Oh, see that? He's thrilled. Ah, oh, sucker punch, you suck. Confuse, confuse. No confusion. Ooh, okay, okay. That's, uh, you got crit. That's not good. I'm going to heal up Lumi. So I just don't want Lumi to die. We, if anyone needs experience on the team, it's Lumi. If anyone else dies, it's fine. Well, apart from Togepi, because I obviously need the happiness. With like an Infernape fainted, that's fine, because he doesn't he does not need any more experience. Same with Luxray. Just those two can just um just chill. 
Good job, Beautifly. Togepi's almost 43. Pulse and Flame Wheel. I want to try and take out the Stunky with Lumi because Aftermath only works on physical attacks. He keeps sucker punching me, which is really annoying. Go on, confuse it, confuse it, confuse it. No confusion. It's fine, it's fine. I guess we just take another sucker punch. Oh, last Pokemon, sweet. I guess actually, uh, Soul takes you out. And where's the aftermath? Wait, is there no aftermath? Oh, nice. Hey, let's go. I still have more Pokemon. That was it. And this will end. Oh, also, I want to check and see if we can. Because we've got the TM for Drain Punch, but Monferno couldn't learn Drain Punch for whatever reason. I thought it was really weird. But I want to see if Infernape can learn it. I hope so. It just really feels like a move they should be able to learn. But I just want to double check, because that's a move I, I would really like to use. Alright, can we actually go for it? Drain Punch. No, it cannot learn it. Wow, okay. I will teach my Pokemon some TM soon as well. And we've got a nice little encounter before we get to uh, Dawn. Hey, Starly. Just gonna have to run away from you, buddy. And I think we double with Dawn. Do we double? That face brings back bad memories. Talking about the Valley Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. <laughs> face. What's that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. How cute. You two think you can save the day in your little game of hero? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Do we double with Dawn? It'd be kind of cool if we did, but I think it's a single. Yeah. Golbat, okay. Just I think Dawn, you could probably take her on if you really tried. Uh, I have to switch to that, it's actually pretty tough. Let's go into Lexus, go for a nice spark. U turn, okay, that's annoying, but I can always Volt Switch out, so it's not an issue. Oh, per ugly. Last time we battled this, it gave us so much trouble. So much trouble. And it still outspeeds us. Per uglies must be really fast. They don't look like they would be, but I think they really are. It's gonna spark. Oh, okay, I'm gonna Volt Switch out. Or my attack like that, it's really annoying. Come on, though, give me the paralysis. Give me the paralysis. Ah, oh, you got a berry? You suck! Proglies are no joke. Nice. And we are gonna go into Soul. Go for a mock punch to finish you off, because ain't no way you are outspeeding me with that. Nice, nice. What next? What next? Go back. Okay, uh, we can go. Hmm. Now yeah, let's use uh, Drapion for a bit. Please just go into Laxis and go for Spark, but Drapion will be fun. Alright, 
Nice slash. Big damage, please. Give me that crit. No crit yet. Oh, you turn? Okay. What's your third Pokemon? Bronzor. Ooh. That's absolutely fine. Just like when um we battled uh Saturn. <laughs> you can can switch out if you want. It don't matter. Bronzor is a Pokemon I love to battle. <laughs> right, oh, Soul, come on, man. You don't need any more experience, you little 47. He's just so OP. Ooh, so close. And there we go. And we saved the lake. Or another explosion at least, which is good. Ah, again and again. I lost again. So, first it was the Valley Windworks, and now it's Lake Verity, and that, and that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to, team, to a Team Galactic Commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. The Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grand, grandstanding at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mispirit slept. Mispirit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've got all of them. Miss Spirit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Uxi, the being, being of intelligence. Now that we have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for them. That's not good. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about uh, Lake Orsity? Is Barry safe? Okay, so we're going to head to the next lake. So I'm guessing, I thought Barry said, like, from the way he said it, it sounded like he was going to go to Lake Valor, because that's obviously where the explosion was, and he wanted to make sure everything was good, but I guess he meant he wants to go up to the lake now to make sure the lake, that lake's good, you know? All right, so the best way to get there would be... Would it be, like, just go from here, then go north? Or do you want to go from here, because then we got the, um... It's got to be from here. Yeah, so let's fly here. But I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we're going to make our way to the next lake and make sure Barry's all good. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.